let me tell you. I'm gonna tell you just a, a short story. You, you, it becomes a point where you start seeing yourself in the environment that you're in, and you, all of us, have this voice on the right side of us to remind us, like, you shouldn't be here. You should, you really shouldn't be here. <laughs> and then you're looking around. I was, I went to this event. And alhamdulillah, I was, I was with, uh, oh man, um, it was Dave Chappelle, it was uh, Wesley Snipes, um, we was there, it was Abdullah Chappelle, was his brother, I was at this event, and we were going, we had good intentions, I mean youngsters, we wanted to talk to, Prince Faisal was there with the Hollywood Studios, and I wrote this script, and I wanted to talk to him about doing some Muslim halal movies. That's what I wanted to do, and he had the money, and I wanted to talk to him and say, give me the money. <laughs> but I had to go into this, to this party, and it was on the Sunset Strip. And not Genuine was there, Lisa Ray was there, all these other celebrities was there, that, you know, you brothers have to lower our gaze. Sisters even have to lower their gaze with the genuine guy. We know. <laughs> but it was at this point when I, I realized that I was wasting my time. I was there. And look how I got the reminder. I'm standing there and I felt so shame because it's the time when Michael Jackson was, had passed away. And I was, they was playing a Michael Jackson song, and I was, and this woman, she was tall. She, she approached me and was like, you're the only one dancing to Michael Jackson. I was like, oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Out of all the people, I'm thinking like, I'm Muslim, and I'm the one that's dancing to Michael Jackson. So then she's talking to me, and I, I must have, I don't remember what I said, because I have to be honest. I don't remember what I said, and she looked, she's like, you Muslim? I was like, oh, yeah. And she was very tall, and she had this mini skirt on, and she was like, she was a model. And she said, I'm Muslim too. I said, I'm all right. And then I was like, and she she's tall, so I'm looking up to her, I was like, wow, what's going on? Okay. And then she said, I'm in Maghrib. And let me tell you, may Allah have mercy on her, because I didn't know what that meant, men Maghrib, right? And so I was like, you from Salat to Maghrib? <laughs> but then she said Morocco, and so I was like, wow. And I looked at it, and she said, please, this is what she honestly, Eddie, she looked at me and her eyes watered and she said, please say Fatiha with me. And I was touched, like, I was like, man, that's messed up, but <laughs> I didn't know, like, I really, I started thinking about all of the shuyuf and everything. Like, this, is this, what is, this has got to be ikhtilaf. <laughs> but, but I was like, well, I'm messed up and she's messed up too, so we might as well say Fatiha. <laughs> I said, Fatiha, and then she was like, I want to know what a masjid is and, and everything. And I said, wow, what if that was me? I walked away from her, and this, this, this lady was talking to me, and this guy was black, and he was looking, and then he, she took me to introduce him, me to him, and this guy, he was the manager in charge of Erica by doing everything. And he was like, you want a drink? I'm going to offer you a drink. It's real. It's an honor. When I turned the drink down, I was dishonoring him. It was like, I said, no, no, I don't drink. And everybody just <laughs> So I was like, you know, he was like, oh. And then the other lady was like, no, he's Muslim. And then he was like, oh, you Muslim? I'm Muslim too. So I'm like, I'm too late for the captain. <laughs> and he pulled out his Allah chain as if it was his badge. <laughs> to be like, bam. And he started talking to me in Arabic. And I was like, uh, and I was like, I don't understand. And the point that it got to me, I started looking around and said, you know what? Allah Billah, there's a bunch of Muslims in here. <laughs> and look at how we look. And I don't look no better. I gotta make a decision. Like I do not wanna just blend in with the crowd. I wanna I wanna that that experience it really bothered me because I was like, man, I look just like everybody else. I don't look like anybody that's making salat. That's a reminder of a law that, you know what I mean? Just, just, 
I like what I am, why, like inspiring American Muslim youth. I don't look like that. I'm misrepresenting everything. And it really made me feel shame and it just stuck with me. It's a little funny, but it shook me. And it's very difficult to be in that kind of environment. I mean, I've done some films. I don't even tell you Muslims which film that I've done. Because I'd be like, oh, I would be like, I'm shamed. Just not even, I'm grateful that I didn't really have any bad scenes. But just because I was there, and then if you saw the movie, you'd be like, you was there? You know, it's just too much. It's really too much. And it, it comes a point where, I don't want to talk too, too long. It just comes a point where we have to make a commitment to being who we really truly are. Like, we don't really realize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the light. And they, they want the light. The people look for the light. Well, how am I going to shine the light if I'm in the midst of all of this? It's, they don't just block the light. And then nobody will be like, hey, move out the way and I'm going to shine. It's not going to work. It's just not going to work. So we just can't be putting on, we got to try our best, like, like Muslims said. We got to try our best because it's a constant struggle and be strong. Thank you. Thank you.